Hi everyone and welcome to a brief presentation of linking Tecla structures to Steel Project's PLM software then down to the FeeShip CNC machines taking the production data back into the Tecla model so you can see the progress through the workshop. If we start first of all with the Tecla model just for an example we'll make a few small changes so just add a component, a stiffener component to this model just so you can see the results come through. Once we've got that, we can then export the data out using the Steel Projects XML plugin, which is available from Steel Projects to everyone. And we can quite simply say, OK, let's take that data through. We do need to make sure the numbering's up to date first. Then again, run the Steel Projects XML export, and that will create the data that links through to Steel Projects PLM software. This is not DSTV we're creating, it's XML, it's a three-dimensional description of every piece of steel in the Tecla Structures model. So we're not just taking through plates, holes, drilling, simple information, we're taking through full assembly information, full well preparation, full scribing, markup, everything that's required. What we're doing in Steel Projects then is import that file. You can see it's just a single file automatically takes down the phases as well. Uh, once that's there we can then take a look at the data that's, been, that's come through to steel projects. Okay, just say okay to that. Then we'll look at the project itself. You can see there for example we've got an ex uh, just showing one of the beams from the model complete with all the markup and fit up information. Full 3D view where everything comes through as you can see. An example of plate, again you can see the little markers showing how that fits to the main piece of steel. Base plate with full scribing outline, fit up again, fit up information. But not only that, we get all the assembly information through as well. So you get not just the plates, but the actual bracing itself. So you can see how every single one of those plates all fits together. An example of the beam, uh, one of the splices. Okay, and that's the example of one of the beams of the bracings coming into it as well. Okay, what we do next is we can then say, okay, let's route that information through my workshop. So we pick up the pieces. Oh, before we do that, actually, as well, we can also see if there are any sort of basic CNC errors. For example, if the holes are too close to the edge or the scribing is cl too close to a hole. So before damaging the machine, it will actually check basic CNC for basic CNC errors at that, that time as well. Okay we then take it through the workshop. What we do in the steel projects is we tell it what CNC machines we have, what their capabilities are, and then we can see the routing of each piece will be worked out. The routing of each piece through the factory will be worked out for me. So you can see for example that tube goes through the sawn drill, this plate goes through the Gemini plate burning table, the beam there goes through the top. If we just zoom in on that, you can see that beam is going through the sawn drill. It's going to take so it's that certain amount of time to do it as well. It gives you a nice time calculation. Then on to the other processes, which is painting, shot blasting, welding, etc. Next step from that then is to do the bar nesting. We do the bar nesting. This not only nests them into lengths, it also nests them so they all go to the same common machine. So you're not moving the bar from one machine to another. The bar nests the pieces that all, all the pieces go to the same machines. So if we take a look at let's say a more complex one. Again one of the spliced beams here we are. Where the red area indicates scrap. That's for the gripper, minimum for the gripper required, the uh, saw blade thickness, all the markup information, holes, drilling, and again the scrap at the end. We can then get the bar nesting reports. So let's take a quick look at the reports. Of course it goes out the same we get the reports. So just wait for that one to load up. You can see that that's the simple bar nesting where each piece actually cuts. And then we can also get a list of routing how every piece is actually sent through the factory. So again just take a look at the reports. Go to the routing, that's the routing report, like so. Shows you which piece goes to which machine. And again, that's the assemblies themselves. We're now ready to send that information to the workshop. But first of all, what we've got left, of course, is we've done the bar nesting. We've now got the plates. So we need to send that down to the plate nesting software. Again, just take a quick look at some of these. Again, fit up and full assembly information we've got. 
the plates being the parts now left over to actually process. Okay, so we're into the plate nesting software. Again, the plates here are actually what's come through from the Tecla XML export as well. We can manually put those into the piece of plate available, or you can say automatically nest those, which is what you do, of course. So pick up the, all those plates left over that's come from the Tecla model, place them onto that plate uh, with minimum wastage. Again, you can see there's the results. Again, that now downloads direct to the machine. So we've got the routing, we've done the bar nesting, we've done the plate nesting. The next thing then is to send that information down to my real factory. So for example now what we're doing is it telling it where each piece goes through, which machine it goes to, with all the processors. Now as it actually goes through the CNC machine, it then tells the Steel Project software exactly where it is in the factory. So the progress as it goes through every single machine is reported back to the Steel Project software. And from the Steel Project software it will send the information back to the Tecla model. So we get a colour code timeline of how things are actually happening in the workshop in the, within the Tecla model. So that's the project flowing through the factory. So in the Tecla model now we can say OK look, let's take a look, let's step forward. That's progress for day one. So we've got there welding. CNC progress, shipping progress all the way through. So a nice colour code going all the way through, step by step through the actual Tecla model. Thank you.